I just did a 14 mile run. It turned dark, I don't know, you know, as I was going through. So it was probably about an hour and a half of running just straight. And uh, I wanted to document how I feel because it's been uh, probably about four months since I've done this much running. And I wanted to document how I feel about it. Uh, and, and as I was going through, it kind of feels like I'm in, I got, I just got out of the steam room or something. Um, I usually like it. Kind of feels like you 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 cleared up some like it's almost like a cleanse in a way. It's, it's on the cleanse. Um, I don't even get this when I run eight miles. It has to be 15 or 14 or something really long distance. Um, uh, so I, I don't know what it is exactly, but. It's like, it feels like a cleanse of sorts. I don't know how to put it. Um, almost like I'm out of a steam room. And um, I guess it's like, uh, I want to say that this is not strictly because of just running itself. It's also diet in the sense of, I've been taking more uh, so-called neurotropics. What I mean by that is, for example, eating mushrooms, you know, um, lion's mane mushroom and stuff like that. And also, I take that supplement, that lion's mane, like, supplement. So, I think there's, like, this... And also, I tried this new drink that has neurotropics in it called Jocko uh, Energy Drink. And they sell it at a uh, vitamin, vitamin shop. It's an energy drink, just like Red Bull, but it has, like, maybe 10 milligrams less of, of uh, caffeine. About 95 gra milligrams of caffeine in one. And it's just, a, it has neurotropics, but most importantly, it has monk fruit instead of sucralose because the uh, Monster energy drinks and the Red Bull energy drinks, even if they're sugar-free, they have sucralose. So this one is really good. Uh, Jocko wakes up every day at 4 a.m. and he does Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Um, I think it's Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, some sort of Jiu-Jitsu, but he um, he's pretty, he's a tough guy. So, you know, for him to have a certain formula, and all that is legit. I think I'm gonna start buying that actually. Not because of tonight, but just in general, because I always wanna go grab an energy drink, but I end up thinking like, shit, I gotta just have coffee because if I have that sucralose, I'm gonna destroy my microbiome, you know? And I, I mean, I've done that many times before. I've, I've, you know, through the last year, that's one thing that I kind of regret, but not really, because at least it's better than having actual sugar. But I'll have um, a sugar-free, uh, Red Bull or sugar-free uh, Monster and it doesn't have dextrose. It doesn't have anything that would raise your blood sugar, but it has sucralose And I always got this bad feeling Like two days after or something like that. It's probably because uh, My gut microbiome is, is being destroyed, you know, uh, or something like that um, And there's something to do with the gut microbiome because that's what uh, you know sucralose kind of messes with that but um, yeah, it's kind of interesting, this feeling I have. Uh, it, it, it almost feels like waking up after sleeping. I don't know how to put it. Because uh, like, even though I felt tired before, I actually feel like, like my, because I felt like I had bags under my eyes, but I feel like in a, in a way, the bags are now gone. Like, I don't, I don't have that, that heaviness under my eyes right now. Um, Uh, yeah, this this definitely beats trying to get a cigar and chilling with a cigar. Um, it also beats uh, uh, trying to satisfy hunger with a four x four quad burger. You know, the quad burger uh, protein protein style. Even though those are still fairly clean compared to their alternative, like the with the with the bomb, the bun, and then obviously the cigar instead of the cigar getting an actual cigarette. But. Um, this beats, this beats all everything. Um, I don't know how long this is gonna last, but usually when I was doing this uh, four months ago, and I don't think I even usually ran this much. I think it was like, I, like yeah, so if I ran this much, I would go home and just like sleep right, right away. But in my particular case, it, in a sense, it gave me more energy because I was tired as hell. I don't know, I don't know how to put it. Maybe it's just gonna last for about an hour or two before I'm, I'm gonna crash, but um, but I, I do have a date at, at, in about an hour. Um, I had a date, it's funny, I had a date last night. 
that did not go well at all. I, I um, she's from the Bay Area, so I think she's kind of a um, a prude. Uh, but in my particular case, I also think that for me, I'm just not getting enough rest. So like, if I have these encounters, like I don't have full not fully energized to like face every little nuance you know so you know there's probably like things I miss and I just look awkward like I remember when when I, when I first saw her I was like like my eyes felt droopy a little and I'm like shit like I, I did something awkward where you know how I talk sometimes right I, I kind of stutter a little bit and that's because I'm trying to, in my mind like I'm trying to lump everything together you know I'm trying to like lump Instead of just taking it a sequence at a time, and that's probably related also to, again, it, it's related, it's, everything is related to the tiredness. It's like you're trying to simplify it with the smallest amount of energy that you can use because you just can't use that much energy. And I think, like, instinctively, these women know it. They just know it. Like, they're just like, this guy doesn't have the energy. Like, he's not going to be able to, he's not going to be able to last, you know, that kind of thing, if you know what I mean. But, kind of, they kind of like unconsciously, like they're, you know, women, I, I, I don't want to go into that too much, but, because um, I'm not like, I mean, I, I'm pretty good, I mean, you know, so far I'm pretty good, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie about that, <laughs> but um, at the same time, it's all a stochastic game, it's all stochastic, it's just, it's just a, it's a big, it's a big um, casino game, that's what it is, you know. Um, you know, you just better hope. You just—it's a big casino game. That's all I gotta say. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But anyway, um, what was I gonna say? Uh, but that shouldn't stop you from trying to be like optimal in terms of your life. Like, so for me, it's tiredness. I mean, that's the whole point. Things. I've been tired, so what, 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 I'm, what I've been doing is instead of being intellectual or whatever, I, I like I spend too much time, and I'll admit it, I, I spend too much time like online talking to these ladies and talking to people and trying to like just kind of you know just just kind of screwing around. You know, it's, it's like why, what am I doing here? You know, what am I? What the hell am I doing? Um, but that causes me to go to sleep at like 1 or 2 a.m. <laughs> or like maybe I'll go to sleep at like 10 p.m. And then I'll wake back up at 12 because like I get all these messages and stuff like that. And I'm like, dang, I want to respond to this person. I want to, like, holy crap, they're still up. I'm like, dang, you know, because usually if they're just like, I don't know what it is. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. All right. This is a funny story, actually. When I was with my ex. The weirdest thing is that like her energy is kind of like on the same wavelength as all these other women. Um, we would go into the bed and like I'd be asleep by 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. or something. She would want to, she would want to do you know what at like 2 a.m. and I'm like, I'm like, can't you see I'm sleepy? I'm like, freaking tired. I gotta go to work in the morning and stuff. She was like in the mood at that time. So it's like for any of you guys, I guess any of you guys out there. Uh, this might keep you up, but <laughs> it might be the way, you know? Um, but yeah, I mean, it's addicting. It's, it is addicting because it's, uh, uh, you know, biologically, you know, all the males are, you know, well, not every male, but straight males are, you know, and they're, they're, that's just their drive, you know? So I, uh, I don't know if you can hear me. Sorry if that was like, but uh, yeah, it's uh, but but it's interesting because running and doing all this stuff, like going to the extreme, makes you kind of it's kind of like the Jocko effect in a way. It makes you pretty much say like it make it makes you more efficient at doing life stuff. It just makes you more efficient at life stuff. So. Like four months ago, I was I had my sleep was a lot better. That's why I was getting up at like six six a.m. and I was doing fasting and all that stuff. And um, well, but at the same time, I wasn't worried about the kitchen remodels and all these other things. So you know, and 
I had a better diet. And now I'm getting a better diet, you know, buying all that stuff from Whole Foods. Um, that's another thing I think that, that helped me out. Uh, eating those, those vegetables actually helped me to get, get energy um, because I had that before, especially the steamed vegetables. But, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, like I said, my ex was uh, oftentimes in the mood for, uh, you know, had, I don't know if she was self-induced herself with a aphrodisiac but she had those those moods in um at t- 2 a.m like really late and that just man that just makes a man miserable like how's anybody how's any guy supposed to you know operate at their full potential i mean I, in my opinion i think that's actually what's happening i, I don't know what it is um but and I, I i don't know if it's like if it's because there's like women are spoiled or something but because i don't want to i don't want to sound misogynistic you know but sounds like because like i was the same way when i was uh, going to my grandma's house and you know um like i had you know when I, when I was given stuff you know when i was you know like when i was at my dad's house and and stuff like that where i didn't have to worry about any like extra stuff where whereas today like where, where i didn't have the responsibility of these high level things like home ownership and stuff like that I always had like these moods, like like in the middle of the night, I'd want to do all this stuff, or I'd want to like be go crazy. I, I would have gone to a strip club or something. I don't know, something like that. But nah, I didn't do that. But I'm just saying, you know, like I had these moods, like in the middle of, and I, I just feel like it's like it's a reflection of like a spoiled society, you know, because they they, they don't really want to um, they don't want to do the hard things, you know, on average. So that's why it's interesting because, um, you know, I, I'm. I'm I was, you know, basically, I, I wouldn't say that we're, we're a couple, but there's this girl I've been seeing, and she, she's a little older, but she's into homeownership and, you know, a lot of um, higher, higher level responsibility, so she kind of understands where I'm coming from, and we're just kind of, we were, we were click, clicking right away, and she, um, you know, we, we probably met a total of, what, six times, um, she's not up late all the time, she, she's got stuff she's got to do, so, um, you know, I guess there's just some people, but yeah, it's kind of crazy. I mean, I mean, for anybody, anybody out there that's like kind of on the market or whatever, dating market or whatever, just uh, that's one thing that you could probably hack, get it, be a hack at, is realize that they're probably going to be more receptive if you're if you're messaging them somewhere between I don't know 12 and 3 a.m. Uh, it's kind of interesting how that works, but. And a lot of people are like that. They they don't know how to. They don't get enough sleep. They don't know when to sleep or have a good sleeping schedule. But anyway, yeah, I'm almost home. Thanks for watching.